What would you do if you got up tomorrow, made your coffee like usual, instead of going to work, God told you to do something ridiculous, like save a country? Or maybe not even so drastic. What if he asked you to save one person? Or be a foster mom? Change your career? Or move to a different part of town? You might question if God knew what he was doing. In essence, that's what happened to Moses, a prophet that lived long before Jesus. He was totally comfortable shepherding his flock, taking care of his wife and kids. And along comes God, shaking everything up. God wanted Moses to play a big role in his rescue plan to free his faithful people from harsh Egyptian slavery. Moses' response? He said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? Moses feared he didn't have what it would take to do the big things God was asking of him. Perhaps part of him didn't want to leave the safety and comfort of shepherding, to go risk his life talking to Pharaoh. Would you? If you're like me, you ask the same questions. God, who am I? I'm not good enough, smart enough, talented or brave enough. But God's response to us is the same as it was to Moses. He didn't puff him up. Instead, he simply said, I will be with you. Listen, you are part of God's rescue plan for those around you, just like Moses was for his people. You are the love and grace Jesus wants to pour out to your neighbors, coworkers, and community. He needs you to do some hard, brave things, but you won't be in it alone. Trust that the one who asks you to go is also the one who will faithfully stick with you when it's hard. As you shift from self-doubt to remembering God is able, you will find empowerment to do big things.